And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to Bruce this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it is time! Five rounds! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman look at him working at trying to shut the liver down Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Looping left hand misses the target. Nice kick. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Lee. job to land the knee there by the taller fighter and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say I wish I was a little bit tall you're a baller though you see. oh oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad John he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here oh straight right Oh, 
Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just a slip there. Right punches there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Big call from Chris Land. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. How about that shin? Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. That side kick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big punch land. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. She's the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. Went. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Nice punch lands over the top. Superman punch lands! Spinning back fist. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Checks the leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Beautiful strike. Right hand by this young man. 
Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. His corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. DC, talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to the knee of the body, it could in the night. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch lands. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Punch coming. It's blocked. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. 30 seconds to go in round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ooh, what a punch. 10 seconds now to go in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Two rounds in the books. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's Ready? arms and landing Ready? those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice loop to punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful body kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh! Oh! His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndanu. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body.
And he landed the right hand there. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Right hook to the head block. Big punch land. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, huge block. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. What a body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice straight punch. Blocks the punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 20 seconds left. Good punch, man. Waning seconds here of round number three. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big head kick lands. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice right hand. Blocks the shot. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Big kick lands. And he continues to work the body here. And then he throws an overhand leg. Nice leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands that up. Knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, big left. Pretty good right hand. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Straight right hand, no good. Three minutes to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big head kick. Slips that left hand. Nice leg kick there by Lee. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at the turtle in that kick. Big power shot there. Watch knees to the body. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Liver kick. Checks that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. A little single collar tie there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Unable to connect with the right. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 30 seconds remain in the round. Calm down. Calm down. That's a big strike right there. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. 
he managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he feints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Unable to land with that punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, what a kick! Big knee to the body! Real nice body kick lands. Big kick lands. Big body kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Kick to the body by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Body kick now by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh! Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice strike. Hands higher, hands higher. Just out of range with that right hook. Punch is blocked. Beautiful right hook counter. late in the fight now he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight we'll see if he goes for it i mean he's got to pull out all the stops there is no more strategy there is no more time to try to set up a punch you got to just start letting everything fly nice body kick right under the elbow lee gets caught with that punch his chin is held up thus far got to shore up the defense here though 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Tags it with the overhand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Leg kick. Seconds now to go in the fight. Beautiful 
body kick lands right under the elbow. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we'd be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!